I'm Jim within Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the JJ Jr. from Friedman. The Friedman JJ Jr. guitar amp head, finished here in classic black with gold piping. Dave Friedman teamed up with Jerry Cantrell and captured the Alice in Chains guitarist's iconic tone and ferocity in the Friedman JJ100, Cantrell's first ever signature amp. The JJ100 was an instant success. Not being the types to leave a great thing alone, they decided to cram all that punishing tone and grind into a stage-friendly 20-watt monster. A 20-watt, two-channel, all-tube head featuring a complement of three 12AX7 preamp tubes and two EL84 power tubes. On the front panel, we'll find the power switch, with no standby, global presence control, master volume control, treble, middle, and bass EQ controls for the drive channel, gain control for the drive channel, and a single volume control for the clean channel. You will also find three mini toggles on the front panel. One for the JBE higher gain function for the drive channel, the channel select switch, and the bright switch for the clean channel. Finally, the quarter inch input jack is found on the far right of the front panel. On the rear panel, we find the foot switch jack, the send and return jacks for the super transparent buffered effects loop, balanced XLR out for direct recording or live sound, then three mini toggles, a ground lift switch, axis center or edge mic placement emulation switch, and then a switch for either negative 10 or negative 30 dB output level from the XLR jack. Next up, we have the dual speaker outs and a switch that allows you to go between either eight or 16 ohm operation. Finally, on the right-hand side of the rear panel, you'll see the fuse and the power cable jack. The JJ Jr. comes with a single button foot switch and weighs in at 22 pounds. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs. So first, let's talk about how we're recording today. I'm going uh, out of the Friedman into the Aux and I have a 412 cab with Greenback set up, and I'm monitoring through a Friedman in the room. Uh, we're going to listen to the guitar clean first on this uh, St Sir Estal guitar. Then we're going to go back and hear some dirty sounds on the Les Paul. We'll probably do some overdrive sounds on this guitar too, since there's a humbucker in the bridge, just to give you a, a couple different flavors. Um, and I was using some effects in the intro. I had some delay with a Strymon timeline, a little bit of reverb with a Strymon uh, blue sky and a little bit of a, an old full-tone wah. So let's begin first. Now the clean channel, as I said in the specs, we just have one knob only for the clean channel. Just a volume knob and a bright switch. I have the bright switch engaged. So let's listen to, there's three functions on the bright, right? So we're gonna start all the way to the right and we're gonna go from right to left. And here we go, straight in, in the neck. Let's listen. Here's the neck in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
Here's the middle position on the bright switch. Here is the left position on the bright switch. This is a global presence control, so I'll take the presence up a little bit. it's kind of on the edge of breakup. Now, this amp has a great uh, buffered effects loop, so let's listen to some clean sounds with a little delay added in, or, uh, and some reverb. So a really nice clean channel, super simple. Let's take it over to channel two now. And in channel two, we have two settings. Uh, to the right and to the left. To the left is the JBE setting, which is like a higher gain, it's a little tighter. We started at regular. I had the gain set uh, pretty hefty. We'll take it back to noon here, and you can see where I have the master. Not, uh, not cranking loud, but a good amount. I'm gonna roll that presence back. And let's listen in the neck first. So let's bring the gain back a little bit, kind of a lower gain sound. Here's the middle. Add a little delay back in. Here's the bridge. no delay. So this is a versatile amp. I mean, you can do the, the super heavy thing, but you can get a great classic rock or blues tone out of this amp, no problem.
right, what we're going to do next is we're going to take it over to the Les Paul and listen to some higher gain sounds, and then we're going to listen to the balanced XLR out at the end of the video. All right, now we're back. Let's listen to some more overdrive sounds uh, with some humbuckers on this Les Paul. We're going to start it, um, I'm going to crank the gain up a little bit, and then we'll go over to the JBE setting. I'm going to turn the presence down a little. Uh, this guitar is an E flat. Kick a little delay on. So, kick this JBE switch over. Here's what we got. It's getting tighter, it's getting more compressed. Turn that gain up a little bit. It's a little quieter, not too much quieter. This amp is designed to take effects really well. Let me just go back to the clean channel with this guitar for a minute, and we'll kick in some chorus just to see what kind of flavor we get. Put that reverb back in. Take it to the middle. Let's see what we got. Okay, now we're back and we're going to listen to the XLR out, uh, the emulated out on the back. Uh, right now I have it set to negative 30 dB and I have the settings set to edge. And then we'll listen to the center axis settings. So here we go. Oh, 
Little reverb back in. All right, let's switch the setting. Pardon me, I have to stand up to see it. All right. So we're back and on center axis now. This is center axis, same settings. It's dry. That was the J.J. Jr. from Friedman.